one. So I thought I would share with you my routine for Halloween night, or at least what I'm planning on doing and what I've done for the past few years. So if you're planning on just staying in like me, then this is a good Halloween night and routine for you. So grab your favorite candy. The mini Snickers are always a favorite of mine. Get cozy and enjoy the video. So the first thing I do is I head into my bedroom to change, and I do close the door because now I have a roommate living with me. So I must decide, do I want to wear a sexy costume or do I want to be comfortable for the night? And more often than not, I will always say choose comfort over sexy. So we have the winner, winner, chicken dinner, and that is this t-shirt that you can get at trishapatis.spreadshirt.com. And yes, I do sleep in my shirts often. Then I just throw my hair up. Everyone always asks me how I do it. I literally just toss it upside down, bunch it all in my hand, and then just take a scrunchie and do a wrap around once. The benefit of having big, big extensions. And I push it out to make it look cute so I don't feel totally gross when I'm just slumming it. Taking off my eyelashes and my makeup. Favorite part of any nighttime routine. And I'm going to be using my Bioderma to remove all my gunky eye makeup. What I love about Bioderma is that a little goes a long way. And it removes your eye makeup like Oh, like effortlessly. It's like the best thing in the world. And it doesn't stretch out your eyes. So I used to always like scrub my eyes or pull up my eyes with wipes. And I just kind of pat this on to avoid any further wrinkles around my eyes or crow's feet that so many of you have pointed out. More, more of the nasty ones, obviously, not the nice, sweet little fishies. But I know mama getting older and that is what is left on it. The Say Yes to Cucumber Wipes. I've used these so many times in so many videos. It is my go-to makeup wipe, and you guys are will be so proud of me because I only use one wipe now to get off my makeup. That means I'm wearing less makeup, and I'm also being more uh, environmental friendly. So I take one side and wipe off half of my face, and then I flip it around, and I use the other half to do the other half of my face. And you save money. You save on little napkin wet ones, and uh, overall, it's just a better experience, and not so wasteful, so I figured you guys would be proud of me for this step. That's pretty much it for my face routine, keeping it simple, keeping it low-key. Then I like to light some candles. Of course, my favorite are from Bath & Body Works. This is a pumpkin pecan waffle candle. And then, of course, my favorite three-layer candle from Bath & Body Works, which has three of my favorite scents all in one candle. I burn this every single night, and this is my second candle. I am a candle junkie. I totally, totally admit that. And one more candle shot because why not? So now my favorite part of my night as well, besides taking off my makeup, is laying on my couch and taking selfies. So take a comfy selfie to show everyone in their Halloween costumes, out getting drunk, that you are just having fun, chilling at home, being comfortable in your oversized shirt, and hashtag it with hashtag Halloween night in. That's what I did. I posted mine on Instagram, so go ahead and see if you can find it because y'all know me. I got to post everything on Instagram. Don't lie, we all do poses like this. <laughs> so after you find your perfect selfie after after you took it like 900, post it on Instagram. And now I'm just going to get my book, <laughs> an amazing book to my light on, an amazing book by the wonderful author Trisha Paytas. Yes, Trisha's 31 Nights of Fright. Oh, hey there, Trish. Um, no, it's my Halloween horror movie review book. So if you're looking for a scary movie, definitely pick it up. There's a bunch of reviews. So I'm just kind of checking it out. Seeing what brilliance I wrote and just looking at it. Got to get a closer look of it, of course. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. And uh, that's a bingo. I think I, I think I found a good one. I think I know of a good one. And that is Hostel Part 2. This was not mentioned in my book, but I really wanted it to be in there. Um, it is directed by Eli Roth. It's really scary and really kind of like gory and gruesome. So not for the faint of heart, just a warning, but a good movie nonetheless. And uh, if you get too scared, you can always do a little spa night. And I love doing these little gore lane eye patch things. Uh, honestly, these refresh your eyes. I've never, like, it really has helped my eyes so much. The bags, all that stuff, it's really helped reduce that. And they're really relaxing. I love to just sit there for, like, a good 20 to 30 minutes with them on after they're out of the freezer and just lay and just relax and just absorb. Honestly, this beats going out and then drinking. It's like you're doing something good for yourself. You're hydrating your eyes. It's a beauty routine. It's relaxing. It's fun. And you just can just sit back, relax, do nothing. Take them off and you feel like a new person, literally. Throw those away and uh, order some pizza. <laughs> yes, I do have a home phone. I have a terrible reception where I live. So I'm ordering pizza with the uh, yummy stuff. And while the pizza's coming, I decided to bake some cookies. Because it is Halloween, why not splurge? I'm going to do both. 
And uh, of course, my favorite thing at the moment is Orange Crush because it's a party, but not really because it's just me or your friends or your roommate or your parents. Put it in my little pumpkin potion thing I got from CVS. And cheers. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so pizza has arrived. I like to make it myself a little like thing on my couch, put the cookies out, you know, make it a pot tie. And of course, back lounging. My socks are from skatersocks.com. A lot of people have asked me, and I do love me some cheese pizza from Domino's. And uh, I like to check my Instagram and Twitter, multitask. And does this remind anyone of the Eminem We Made You video? When I wolfed down that burger, 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 burger. <laughs> um, okay, bad habit coming up. This is the grossest habit I think anyone can do, and I do it. I lick my fingers after I eat. It disgusts me when other people do it, but for some reason I do it, and obviously it doesn't disgust me, but I need to get all that flavor off of my fingers. Yeah, I do. And I am always checking social social, social media. Okay, can I talk? Um, I'm at Trisha Paytas on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm also at official Trisha Paytas on Facebook, and I check my YouTubes, I text, I sext, I'm just all around crazy. Love being on my phone. What would I do without it? Then I like to make my way to my bedroom. This is where I spend probably a couple hours before I actually fall asleep. I take off all my decorative pillows and I just throw those babies to the floor because a decaf. Um, and then I kind of unmake my bed sort of because I like to get underneath the covers because it has been getting cool here finally in LA. And I love to just get all like snugly underneath my covers. Um, bed frame and uh, sheets and all that stuff are from Z Gallery, and my lamp is from Lamps Plus. So I just get my laptop, and I like to watch some YouTube videos. Got to prop up my neck, you know, just get situated. Um, so yeah, I watch uh, YouTube videos for, like I said, a couple hours before I go to bed. Just catch up on everybody and everything. It's really relaxing for me. And if you are looking for a scary one to watch this Halloween, might I recommend my short horror film, a viral video. It's a church horror film starring... Trisha Paytas and Richard Grieco, directed by Kale Flowers. It's really, really fun. I mean, if you guys haven't seen it, it is, it can be a little scary, but it's not going to like creep you out, gore you out, disgust you. Um, it's my first horror film, so if you guys would check it out, it'd be awesome. I'll link it below, or I'll annotate it in the screen, but yeah, I'm really, really proud of it, so you guys can always check that out if you want to have a good scare, and uh, I like to get a little snack. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bedtime snacker. It is just a weakness of mine. It is really hard for me to break that habit, so I just popped a little popcorn, and I have a big bottle of Avion because I get, always get thirsty in the middle of the night. I'm always like just a little fish, just ready for some water. <laughs> So I kind of just snuggle in again. Um, I'm always in a position. Sometimes my back hurts. So I like to sit erect, eat some popcorn, watch some videos. And I am not completely narcissistic. I don't just watch my own videos. I'm subscribed to quite a few people actually here on YouTube. So I like to go through and just kind of look at my subscriptions. I've been searching for Halloween videos lately. So if someone does a Halloween video, I'm like all into that. So I clicked on Candy Johnson's also tutorial. She's been doing a ton of tutorials and they're just relaxing for me to watch. So I watched that and then I also go through my comments and tonight I was going through my comments on viral video because it's one of the ones that I'm like most eager to hear what you guys have to say. So I've been just going through comments and um, just kind of saying thank you or I don't know if someone has questions, I've been answering it. But again, on this night in particular, I left you guys a very special comment in the comment section of viral videos. So if you guys want to go dig and look for it and see the special comment, you guys can go say, hey, Mama Fish sent me. Or something, I don't know, respond to it. I don't know, I hashtag Halloween night in. Just a little game, just a little fun game. And uh, then I close out my computer, and you'd think I'd be ready for bed, but oh no, oh no. Gotta check that Instagram. Instagram is my weakness. I am at Trisha Paytas on Instagram. There is my Halloween night in selfie. Check to see how many likes I got, because y'all know we gotta check the likes. Um, and then I go through and read all your comments. I always read comments. I get a lot of nasty ones, so I don't read a ton after the first hour, but for the first hour of posting, I do like to go through and respond to just like sweet comments and stuff, and just thank you guys for being on there and interacting with me, because, you know, I don't really have that many friends, and my friend Jeff is going to be out partying, and I'm not a partier, so I just go through, and I look, oh, there's Lee Spubs, there's Kaya Hafsner, I follow those random people, like, I don't even know half these people I follow, but, oh, Cat Sketch, Queen P, yeah, I just go through, I haven't double tapped recently, but I need to. So, I was about to go to bed, and then I'm like, oh, wait, no, let me just look at Twitter real quick, and then I go on Tumblr, and then I go on Vine, and then it's a vortex, and I can't get out of it. And it is just, it is, this is a nightly routine for me, but 
it's just extra special because it was on Halloween night. Or not really. It's what I'm going to be doing on Halloween night. Um, but, I mean, why go out when you can live vicariously through your phone and be comfy and safe at home? I just, that's what I love. I don't like all the hustle and bustle. And now it is lights out for me, and I'm going to bed. And if you guys are wondering what that glow is, I have to sleep with the nightlight. It is just a star projector that is up on my ceiling. So I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween, whatever you decide to do. Thank you for watching my video. I want to say hi to Rick Moranis, and until next time, here are my kisses from my little baby fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys.